But so, speak, it's, speaking about the comedians, uh, I mean, you're highlighting there a something that I criticize amongst the castrated class or the faux liberals, as I call them. Uh, they're, they're incredible. They're stifling moral hypocrisy and sense of false equivalences. And I actually, I recently released on you know my, my channel, uh, a Sad Truth, where I exactly spoke of this. And let me repeat it here and then get your mm -hmm. reaction. So for example, I will post endless stuff regarding the, the just innumerable cases of genocidal mayhem that is imparted on the world globally by one mm -hmm. ideology. Shh, we won't say what it is, right? All mm -hmm. of my academic colleagues, right? I mean, I live in the viper's den of political correctness, right? Uh, so for mm -hmm. me, for example, to have preferred Trump over Hillary Clinton, I must right. have been some, some devil unicorn, right? But in right. any case, uh, I, t I said basically, Here's what happens to all of the, the faux liberals. They are perfectly quiet when, ex when exposed to just profound, grotesque uh, attacks on human dignity. But mm -hmm. when they hear that a friend of a friend told a janitor who knew a cousin that there is three, three white guys in a pickup truck who hurled an insult at an apparent immigrant, and this was caused by Trump, uh, because of the new Trump reality, they all get on Facebook and they are outraged and they are right. incensed and they are so, 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 so afraid to go buy tomatoes because a new uh, era of darkness, <laughs> darkness has been ushered by Trump. And I despise this moral hypocrisy. What are your thoughts I on think, that? I think that, well, part of it is they're, they are lazy. Right. It's easy to express this outrage. They don't even bother to look up to see if it's true. Like right now, there's I've, I've read three or four examples uh, in the media, people talking about hate crimes that have been caused by the, exactly what you said, Trump's election. We know, because you've done the research, we've all looked at this, I've written about it. A lot of these things turn out to be hoaxes by people seeking attention. They're like volunteer firemen who set fires. <laughs> so there'll be, you know, there'll be a guy that um, says, Somebody wrote this on my dorm door, like uh, a, a SWAT sticker, or they'll put a noose, and they always find out after three days of investigation and a tearful confession in a room, and the first thing they do, the left does is, well, that incident might not be true, but you know it's true somewhere else. So I think we've learned and raised awareness by this act that never took place. That's what gets me, it's like, it's like they, it gets me, and it's like, so it doesn't, you're telling me that it matters when it happens and it matters when it doesn't happen. So that means. So even the scam is a teachable moment, basically. The scam is a teachable moment. 